two cups. Take a look. Eric moves only the bottomless insert without even touching the cup of water. So when he demonstrates his teleportation skills, he simply crushes the flimsy insert and reveals the cup of water that's been in the same bag the whole time. That's crazy. As you've just seen, there's no real way to escape logic. You're kidding! Regardless of how impossible something might seem. Who's your favorite magician now? Here with a lowdown on logic is University of Virginia psychologist, Dr. Jim Cohn. The scientific community is often challenged by people staking claims to things that defy logic. Things like water flowing uphill, UFOs, or even spontaneous combustion. But the truth is, almost nothing falls outside of a logical or a rational explanation. That's because logic is rooted in basic cause and effect. We know that everything happens in a step-by-step -step process, even if we can't always see each step. So if everything has a rational explanation, see if you can figure out what's going on with this next puzzle. Take a look at this figure made up of four geometric shapes. Pay attention, because we're about to move some things around. Whoa, how did we make a square disappear from this shape? Want to see that again? We moved a few pieces around, and now there's a square missing. We promise, we're not changing anything about the pieces within the larger shape. We're only rearranging them. In fact, if you look at these two shapes next to one another, you can see they have the same dimensions, 5 inches high, 13 inches wide. So, what's going on here? Still struggling? We'll help you out. The secret lies in the fact that these two figures aren't true triangles, even though they appear to be. Let's take a closer look. If you compare these two triangle pieces, you can see that one slope is slightly steeper than the other. And though that difference is almost imperceptible, it's significant enough so that when these two triangle pieces trade places in the larger figure, their uneven slopes create a slight dip or a slight bump. That tiny difference creates this long skinny sliver, which if you fold it up, you get, that's right, that missing square. Now that you know the solution, this illusion makes logical sense. Your brain loves finding solutions to puzzles. When you do, you're rewarded with a hit of dopamine, giving you a rush of satisfaction. Time for another rush, but get ready, because this next game will require some very quick thinking. The rules couldn't be simpler. All you have to do is come up with 50 words that don't contain the letter A. Easy, right? Just shout them out and try to keep track on your fingers. There's just one catch. You only have 20 seconds to do it. 50 words. No A's. Go. So how'd you do? Chances are you only got 10 words or so. If you got more than that, that's pretty good. But 50 words, that's tough. In fact, some of you might be thinking it's impossible. Well, there was a time people once thought the Rubik's Cube was impossible. We've come to the internationally traveling Beyond Rubik's Cube exhibition created by Liberty Science Center to see how many words our volunteers can get. Play along with them and see if you can do any better. You've got to come up with 50 words none of which contain the letter A. It's a lot of words. I'll try. Three, two, one, go. Brooklyn, um... Uh, floor. Um, there you go. Cube, uh, yellow, uh, red. Um, Time. <laughs> All right, you got five. It's better than nothing. It's 50 in 20 it's just, seconds. There's no way. <laughs> Do you also think it's impossible to come up with 50 words in 20 seconds? Let's see how some other volunteers did. Go. Okay, hit, pit, cat. Oh, shh. Yes, no, insect, if, 